Escondido's vibrant art scene is coming to life this weekend with Art in the Garden. It's a feature of the Grand Avenue Festival. Joining me now with more is Carol Rogers. She's the owner of Stone and Glass and the organizer of Art in the Garden. Carol, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Um, it's so exciting. Well, welcome to Stone and Glass. Yeah, it's such a beautiful place. Um, this Sunday, the Grand Avenue Festival will be featuring Art in the Garden and sharing a little bit of magic, which you spell M-A-G-E-C. Tell us about your group, Magic. Yeah, so what that is, is it's museum and arts growing Escondido culture. And we, the people who own galleries, uh, manage museums, come together to promote Escondido as an arts destination. And that's how we, that's how we identify ourselves. That's great. And then Art in the Garden is going to be featuring a lot of these artists this Sunday. You are the owner of Stone and Glass, and it's a glass blowing art studio in Escondido. And I can see there's something happening behind you. Why don't you explain to our viewers what's taking place? Yeah. So. So the guys are back there making some blown glass pumpkins today. They're just going to be coming over and putting some color on in just a moment. Um, if we can get John to move kind of quickly. <laughs> James Stone, the owner of Stone and Glass, is, is working in there with his assistant, John. It, there are a number of stages. There he goes. He's, he's shaping up the bubble, and he's going to... Um, Pump it up just a little bit more in a moment here. We certainly don't want to rush them because they're and working with fire and they're working with glass. Um, while they're doing this, yeah. why don't you tell us what kind of artists will be featured at Art in the Garden this Sunday? So we have about 40 artists that'll be in the garden. We have everything from blown glass that we do. We also have a couple other types of glass we have a glass artist that's coming in who does some amazing stuff with jewelry. I don't know whether you can see this piece. This is not blown glass, but it's a fused glass. We have pottery, we have painters, we have, we even have someone that is doing bonsai orchids. Wow. This is something that I've never seen before. Yeah. And the artists are, many of them are local artists in Escondido, but some come from, as far away as Orange County and Redlands and things like that, because this is a fun little show. Oftentimes, art shows get just a little too big. They can be a little overwhelming for artists and even for the public. So we keep this one small that you can get to know all of the artists. Nice and intimate. I'm sure people will be able to buy some beautiful pieces of art. Can you tell me where Art in the Garden is going to be set up? So so Art in the Garden is at the far east end of the Grand Avenue Festival. It's, it is at the corner of East Grand and Juniper in a park that's called Heritage Garden. And we, we're inside the garden and then we spill out into Juniper. So not only are you going to have the opportunity for art, but you're going to get some great music, festival food. Great. There is a beer and wine garden I'm at just, the festival. I also. have 10 seconds left. Can you give, tell us uh, the time? The time is 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. All, right, all day long. So uh, if our viewers all are watching, day long. make sure you visit Art in the Garden if you're heading to the Grand Avenue Festival. Carol, thank you so much again this Sunday from 9 to 5 at uh, Art in the Garden and also the entire Escondido Grand Avenue Festival.